What's up everybody? Today I am going to be giving you a WWE fan talk. That's right, my boy Chris does WWE talks, but he is also a former wrestler. But for me, I'm just a fan of the WWE and I just kind of want to talk about what my thoughts are as a fan of wrestling. And uh, I'm going to be showing you three total matches from WWE. I had a chance last weekend to get this game because my brother-in-law has this game. We played a few matches and recorded it. So I figured I'd give it a try as well and talk about it. Uh, in this match, we're going to be having Randy Orton and Dolph Ziggler versus two of the Shield members, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. We're going to go hop right into the match because I don't really care about the entrances. I'm just going to go straight into the match. So here we go. Here's my thoughts first and foremost. I love, honestly, what Raw is doing bringing back Evolution versus The Shield. The once greatest stable versus the now greatest stable facing off at Extreme Rules. Do I think it's a brilliant idea? I, in my own opinion, think it's a great idea. It brings back the old school versus the new school. And I think that as a rating, as ratings go for Raw, I think this is a great idea. I think it's awesome. It brings the young and the old back to WWE. It makes people want to come back and watch. Now, there might be people saying, not really. We've seen this before as far as evolution. And that's fine. But for those newer and younger generations that's never seen that, you get to have cool... Uh, I, 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 a cool experience uh, with this. If it doesn't bring back some kind of emotion to see evolution for somebody back in the day that's been watching it ever since they were young, I don't know what it would bring. This is probably, honestly, my favorite thing that I'll be seeing at Extreme Rules, in my opinion. It should be the top match. Um, Roman Reigns, to me, is probably the one of the best wrestlers uh, at uh, what he does. His emotion is crazy good. The way he fights is, is energy. Everything is so exciting to watch. And I'm sure when the shield does break up, because I know that it will happen sometime. I don't know. Everybody's been saying that's going to happen real soon. But, and there's been a lot of teases that they'll be breaking up. But with this new thing where it's evolution versus <laughs> uh, these guys... I don't know. They might be sticking around for a while, but at, some people are still speculating that at Extreme Rules, they're going to break up. But we'll see. I personally love uh, how the Shield works together. I think it's perfect. I think everybody does their thing well. Uh, Seth Rollins is all about that high flying. Uh, <laughs> Roman Reigns is all about that hard nose, kick and butt kind of thing. And Dean Ambrose, I don't know, but there's something I really like about him. And Dean Ambrose has this, like, craziness slash, like, energy level that I, I feel like Dean Ambrose has not been able to, like, uh, bring out of him. And I, I feel like it's there. Like, he's got some good mic work. Like, he does really good on the mic. But at the same time, I feel like as the Shield, as the group, He's held back a little bit. I don't know if it's just my opinion, but if you watch the way he just wrestles and the way he like acts in the ring, it, the energy's there and it's fun to watch. Um, and on the other side of the uh, way, the evolution, I really think that um, this is really Triple H's idea. I don't see uh, Batista and Randy Orton loving it as much and not liking this idea as much as it is, you know, the CEO's Triple H's uh, thing, honestly. Um, I don't see them loving it, in my opinion. I really do think that Randy Orton's going to turn on them. Um, do I think that they will, will turn on each other before the shield does I do not know oh my goodness right now Roman Reigns is getting his butt kicked I don't see that ever happening for real though I really see I, I think Roman Re uh, Reigns is such a beast um, he's so good and since he is cousins with the rock he obviously brings that energy and the crowd loves him if you watch the events the crowd is so much behind him it's ridiculous and how can you not 
love him. I don't know. Like, as a wrestler, he's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure he got counted out there. He is out of this one, sadly. And so far, uh, Dolph Ziggler and Randy Orton is going to be taking apart Seth Rollins. And that is what it is. Uh, I had control of the, the shield on this one. And it was my first gameplay. And as you can see, I wasn't doing too well. Um, but it was it, it was a really fun. I really look, uh, like WWE. E 2K14. Uh, I enjoyed a lot, actually. I didn't think I did. I do see that there is a lot of the same old, same old with WWE. And be, to be honest with you, uh, I stopped buying WWE video games because they were so monotonous. Uh, but I really am tempted to actually go out and buy this. But it really comes down to you guys. Uh, let me know if you enjoy me talking about WWE. If you do not, then that's cool. There's only three of these, and I'll go back to my Black Ops and GTA 5 and all that. Uh, but I am a fan of WWE. Uh, oh, Seth Rollins tries it, but he doesn't because his boy Dolph is in there. Uh, Dolph Ziggler. I don't know what's going on with Dolph Ziggler. Uh, he, well, there's a glitch. Look at that piece of crap glitch. Oh, wow, that is garbagey. Anyway, uh, Dolph Ziggler, I feel like he should have had a bigger push. I feel like uh, he should have ta like, taken off and, and he should have go gone somewhere. Uh, but right now, the people that are getting pushed is uh, Cesaro right now. Cesaro is getting pushed heavily and I don't understand of course Daniel Bryan Daniel Bryan of course uh, is huge right now and they're the people the people's uh, choice right now but Zolf Ziggler at one time was kind of a big deal but he fell off real quick he fell off real quick and I kind of felt like Cesaro was gonna fall off but now Paul Heyman's in um, I don't see uh, Paul uh, I don't see sorry I don't see Cesaro going anywhere uh, too soon. I think he's going to be going big now that Paul Heyman's there. I think if Cesaro was by himself, uh, it wouldn't work. But now that Paul Heyman, now that he's a Paul Heyman guy, uh, he is definitely going places. Where? Uh, I see it going uh, Cesaro versus Daniel Bryan. I, I think he's going to be going for the championship sometime in the future. Uh, not very, very near future, but I see future uh, for sure. I see that being a championship match. Where and when, I do not know. But um, it's going to happen because I don't see Paul him becoming a Paul Heyman guy just diminishing now. I have never seen that. Anything Paul Heyman touches becomes gold. And, uh, yeah, I'll be talking about Brock Lesnar in another video because I have a Brock Lesnar video, uh, what my opinions are of that whole situation. But all in all, yes, I do love this whole concept of the Shield and evolution. So I'm going to uh, stop there, and I want you guys to let me know. What do you think of this whole evolution shield idea? Are you a fan? Are you not so much a fan? And as my boy loses Seth Rollins, uh, they do win. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching WWE Fan Talks. The question uh, for this video is... The Shield or Evolution? Who do you pick? Thank you so much for watching, and until next video, see ya when I see ya.